After removing the glass, remove the bed leveling knobs. Be sure to raise your Z up a few hundred millimeters. Carefully lift the bed straight up off of the springs. Now, with the bed upside down, remove all the bed shims. Then remove the screws holding the original bed on. Set the 300 by 300 bed heater aside. Make sure everything fits before cleaning and gluing. Use isopropyl alcohol and wipe the entire bed surface clean. It's easiest to remove these screws before trying to glue the heater down. With the heater upside down, carefully remove the backing for the 3M adhesive. Now, a helper would be nice to make sure you align the corners. It's just like putting a giant decal on, only easier. The thickness and the weight of the heater keep it from crinkling. You can use your hand, but be sure to push down on all surfaces of the bed. Now we'll get ready for reassembly. Insert the screws, then the bed shims. If you got from us, you'll put two steel washers down, then a plastic bed shim with the cup facing towards the spring. Use some tape to hold the whole assembly together. This will keep it from falling when you turn the bed over. Align the screws with the holes in the build platform underneath. Remove the tape and install your bed leveling knobs. You should have received some instructions. If not, let us know. We do have a digital copy. As soon as you plug the heater in, it will turn on. It will start preheating and you can press the set button to adjust the temperature. It heats up very fast. You can hold the reset button to turn it off.